What's going on guys? I'm Tyler, and in continuing my series of Disney movie reviews, I'm here to let you know that The Rescuers is no perfect movie. And it follows Bianca and Bernard, played by Eva Gabor and Bob Newhart. They are two members of this UN-type organization of mice where they solve kidnappings. And the two of them set out to rescue an orphan girl named Penny when she's kidnapped by this diamond dealer named Madame Medusa. Now, I only saw this once as a kid, but I was still interested in revisiting it because I had seen Rescuers Down Under a few times in school as a kid, and I like the main voice actors. I think Eva Gabor has such a soft and elegant voice, and Bob Newhart, I think, is really funny. And what I can say is the two of them do work very nicely together in regards to voice acting. Newhart, as you can expect, is good at playing a neurotic wreck, and Gabor adds a lot to her character's personality. She makes her out to be this genuine moral center of the story, and that is the major reason you root for her. But unfortunately, even though this is based on a series of books that technically revolve around Bianca Moore, this is a Bernard-centered movie. And, you know, Disney adaptations have never been super faithful, but in this case it felt a little strange because even though... He was originally the timid janitor before becoming an agent just because Bianca chose him for his awkward charm. Even though he's the least experienced and the most fearful, he's still the one leading the way and pulling her out of danger most of the time. I get that the overall arc for him is to face his fears and put other people's lives before himself, and it's not that you don't believe that he wants to do that. And it's not like Miss Bianca doesn't do anything in the movie either. She does. And if anyone's going to ask, I don't think this movie looks down on women because there are several in this movie who play major key components to the film, like Madame Medusa and the little girl. They both have moments where they get to shine. But it just so happens that Bianca really doesn't up until the very end. And this movie is called The Rescuers, not Rescuer and Friends. And the side characters also do a really good job with the time they're given. I like Jim Jordan as Orville. He's basically the original Launchpad McQuack. And honestly, he's funny for just the exact same reasons. I like that little dragonfly that steers the two of them on this leaf that's like a boat. That was a really clever idea. And he also has the most suspenseful sequence where he's being chased by a group of bats. And this chase kind of interferes with him helping out the heroes. And Penny, even though she's a little too cutesy, even by Disney standards, she does act and talk in a certain way that kids her age absolutely would. And when the two mice come to her rescue, her presence is so much more uplifted. She starts brainstorming ideas onto how they can get out of trouble. And you genuinely believe that their presence to her is very meaningful. But it's a fox and the hound type of thing where the villains have a lot more to do than the actual heroes themselves. Madame Medusa does have some funny interactions with her sidekick. I love when they try to double cross each other and it leads to some dumb but funny slapstick because they're such ruthless bastards you just want to see them fall on their ass. Their pet alligators were also suspenseful and funny at the same time, particularly in this one chase where they're trying to get... Bianca and Bernard out of an organ that they're hiding, it leads into some really good and well-timed suspense and slapstick. Outside of that, for a movie written by nine people, The Rescuers does feel kind of plain, and if it focused more on Bernard and Bianca equally and on the villains and the heroes equally, I feel like we would have gotten, at the very least, an above-average entertaining Disney movie. But, you know... It was okay, and I'm going to give The Rescuers a 3 out of 5. Guys, thanks as always for watching. If you have seen The Rescuers, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. And since I'm going to be reviewing The Rescuers Down Under next, you tell me, which one is better? Be sure to stay tuned for more Disney reviews, and be sure to like and subscribe. Take care.